What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, Kasanat friends almost came to blows on his and stream. And Tyler almost came it. to blows with Dez on stream last night. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So they were so serious last night. We was watching this. I felt like all Des had to say was my bag, bro. And it could have ended way faster than it started. But Des was like, I'm not hurting you, bro. If you watch Kai, you already know that Des, Talil, and Punga argue all day. So this ain't nothing new. When I saw it last night, it didn't even, I didn't even think twice about it. But it is a conversation. A lot of people are talking about it. So that's why I mentioned it today. But here's the outcome of what happened. <laughs> Kai had to, Kai, Kai had to muscle up to get in the mix with his little ass. <laughs> Definitely can't invite everybody because what the hell. But them some good dudes, man. It was just a bad little situation. Tyler didn't realize. I mean, Dez didn't realize he hurt Kai. Bro. I mean, damn, Tyler. Oh. Tyler and Dez did come back and apologies were made. Yeah, bro, I I Sorry about you. Mafia, I apologize. I apologize to Dez. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? It was no, it was no Kai, I apologize. Yeah, my bad. It was not no intentions, you feel what I'm saying, to get aggressive or to be physical. He hit my head, I had his head back, you feel what I'm saying? He thought I was trying to be aggressive with him, but when he hit my head, I bet my tongue actually hurt. He didn't know that, you feel what I'm saying? I didn't mean to get him upset, so I went and I apologized to him. We had a conversation. We brothers, we all family, we all here for a good time. I'm here to support Kai. I'm not trying to make it seem as if, like, we don't got no type of structure or unity while, um, while we got a guest here. So I really do apologize to uh, the Mafia, Kai, Marshmallow, everybody that's here, and okay, Dez. I apologize. Bro. All right. I ain't even know, All right, bet. He said it. Congratulations to Kai Sinet. A month ago, streamer I Am Mouse broke Kai Sinet's most subscribed on Twitter. That was real. Which record. But last night, Kai Sinet in 11 days broke Iron Mouse record. And Kai is now the number one streamer with the most subscribers on Twitch. And it's still going. Now I'm predicting because he got 20 more days that he's going to hit 600,000 subscribers. And that is going to be a world record to break. Hold on, bro. Wait. Oh, my gosh. This shit don't even feel real. Chat. I, chat. I lost number one. A month ago. <laughs> first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, shout out to Iron Mouse because she inspired me to make sure to give a lot of this bread that's coming in to a good cause. You feel what I'm saying? I was already planning on, I was already planning on um, making a school in Nigeria, but it just clicked for me to just put even put a sum aside just for that school. And Iron Mouse doing what she do was amazing. You feel what I'm saying? I mean. Bro, if he makes it to a million subs, that's gonna be fucking amazing. I bet he make it to a million. How much? How much you wanna bet? He hasn't even done the whole month yet. He hasn't. I even... loved how excited she was. Cause I, I don't think she was faking at all. Better than Ninja, but shout out to her. He hasn't done the whole month yet. He hasn't even done the whole month yet, bro. <laughs> he's only yeah, he's only on day eleven. That's fucking nuts. 
CJ So Cool responded after people were shocked that he was shooting his shot with Corey's ex, Danny. Now, I thought CJ So Cool and Lexi were back together because they just recently went to Dubai together, but, and now he's in Danny's comments. He said, I'm still confused on why anyone would want to fumble you. Now, CJ So Cool and Danny are definitely not going to work. That is two powerhouses. I know CJ So Cool want the spotlight on him. He think he's the prize, but Danny also feel the same way. So it's not going to work. It's the same thing with Corey. They're going to bump heads at some point, but hey, Corey comment on the situation. He said, tag, you're it. Corey, who's friends with CJ So Cool, don't even care because he wasn't even with Danny long enough. So here's what CJ... <laughs> <clears throat> commenting over there on Corey SSG quotes. They so cool had to say, <clears throat> and Danny also spoke out as well. But no, I'm here to talk about the Danny Washington situation. I commented on a girl's page, which most men do, right? They comment on girls' page and they ain't got to worry about being blasted in the shade room. But me, I'm a lot different. And for some reason, I forgot about that. Everybody still thinks I'm with Lexi. Shout out to my ex. But I'm not with Lexi. I'm a single father. I'm a single man. I've been single for some months. And throughout our relationship, I've probably been single for six months because we always break up, get back together, whatever, consider ourselves friends, whatever it is, right? That's personal. But when you guys bring it to the internet, I got to make it public. So I'm publicly saying I am single. If you guys see or hear about me doing anything with any other woman, just know I have the right of way to do so because I am single. Some of you men out the there right cheat on your girls. I'm not that guy. But... Danny Washington chick, she definitely deserved a comment I gave her. If you didn't see it, that ain't my fault. It's all over the media right now. It just happened today. Uh oh, so he was trying to shoot his shot, like I said. What's being said is, I'm shooting my shot to a girl that just was dating a YouTuber. Ironically, his name is very similar to mine. It might seem messy, it might seem like it was planned, but it actually wasn't. And sometimes, just because you think you know something, don't mean it's true, right? So, I'm here to just let you guys know right now, I didn't shoot my shot at her, but now I'm about to. Y'all done really messed up. Now, when y'all see us together, just know it's y'all fault, baby. Let's get it. I know what's going on with you and CJ So Cool. Hey, that thing is going on with me and CJ So Cool. I never talked to him. Brooklyn Queen was recently on DDG's podcast and she responded to Jay Sinko. Well, that's that on that. Using the word toxic when someone asked him why him and Brooklyn don't hang out anymore. The thing about Singo, he pays attention to the comments so bad. And I feel like that's something he needs to like get out of. Yeah. Especially if you're in this field, like you shouldn't let what supporters say make you feel some type of way or make you like lose a, a friend over it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess we're cool. Okay. Like we used to be way closer, but I didn't like some things that he said when he was on y'all podcast. Oh, okay. Um, I felt some type of way. We sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I'm we so sorry. sorry. We didn't know. No, it he wasn't y'all. What did he say wrong though? Yeah. So we can clarify okay. it wrong. What he said, the whole, like the toxic and he had to get away from that. No one knew exactly what he was talking about. Everybody thought he was talking about me, like I'm toxic and mm -hmm. I didn't want him linking with other people, but he was talking about like my supporters. We had a conversation about it. So I understood where he was, where he was coming from when we had had a conversation, but it's like, you didn't specify what exactly was toxic. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it made me feel some type of way. Catherine has moved on. Allegedly, she has a new boyfriend. She has been posting up pictures with him a lot lately. Oh. He's a tattoo artist who really don't. Damn. <laughs> she has a type. Okay. But damn, Catherine said, girl, I'm out of here. Don't speak English, but here's what she had to say about moving on. He don't speak English. Y'all. Does, does she speak his language? She speaks Spanish? Does he speak Spanish? Does he speak Spanish? Oh, they fine. <laughs> we ain't got to know what he talking about. Hell. <laughs> she good. <laughs> 
question pretty often. I feel like, no, I actually see it a lot where people are like, how do you get the strength to move on? Or how do you move on or whatever? Um, to be honest with you, it's so hard to explain into words because it's not designed, like God doesn't design certain things to be explained, only felt. And it's like, I feel like I, it's so hard to explain. Like, I wish I could explain it, but I can't. It's like a knowing, right? It's like, you know, that something in your life needs to change anything, like anything at all. Something needs to change. And you know that it's for the greater good of not only your life, but the other people that are involved in your life. And sometimes you just got to make that big decision and change your life because you know that it's got to be you. Yeah. And it's like, you're like that trailblazer. You're that first person that's going to like cut the cords. And so, you know, I'm glad that, um, I'm a lesbian. It's a hard not life for us, but I'm glad that I am because it allows me to stand on. It allows me to stand 10 toes into who I am. And I feel like if you don't stand for something, you will fall for everything. So I'm happy that I have something to stand for, if that makes any sense. Whether people like it or not, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel like that helped me. That has helped me navigate through my life. Yeah, of just people feel, of so many judgmental people. I feel like that had to be me, and that's where I get my strength from. Is like God, is creation, source, everything you see around you is is so connected to everything that has to do with your current timeline, and so you get the signs and everything, and you just make that decision. You make decisions to change your life, and then you see all of the blessings pouring in. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm happy that she got a new man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.